Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn how to fill blank cells with the data just above it. Now this is a very peculiar problem where we face that we have to do a lot of manual work. So how do we avoid this? Typically when we make data, some of us make data like this, which is very irritating to Excel in what sense that you are not able to derive anything out of this. Because when the data is like this and you try to sort, filter, nothing will happen. Pivot tables will not run. Your formulas will not run because if I want to right now know how many entries are of type A. So if I select this column comma and I write type A, it's a count if s function, I'm going to get a value six. So this is one, two, three, four, five and six but is that the right answer no there are so many items of type a within the first group itself there were five items so this is a wrong answer and this happened because of this merging of data this is a very wrong way to maintain data so ideally how you should have maintained this data it should have been group one type a item one again group one type a item two and so on and so on so if i drag this down it will create my five items so group one is mentioned five times type a is mentioned five times and then my items so now if i run a count if s function on this column i'm going to know that i have five entries of type a just in group one so if i have all the other data automatically it will give me a proper count this is the reason that we want to work on this data. All right. So I'm going to just control A and copy this data here so that you understand how we are doing it. Now on this data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first select using control A again, and I'm going to click on merge and center, which was enabled. So I'm going to disable merge and center. So automatically everything got disabled. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first column data like this. Just keep going down and select the first column data. Now go to find and select in the home tab and go to go to special. This box opens up another method of going here is I'm going to cancel this. You can press control G control G and click on the special. So after pressing control G, you get this box, click on special. In this box, you click on blank. So what this is going to do is in my selection, whatever I've selected, it's going to select only the blank cells out of it. So if you see group one, group two, group three is no more selected because that's not blank. Now directly after this, without pressing anything else, I'm going to put an equal to sign and press an up key. When I do that, it picks up the data just above it and I will not press enter I will directly press control enter and that's done. So it basically copied the data from just above. Again, I'm going to do that for the same thing for the next column as well. I'm taking this data up till here, going to control G and clicking on special, clicking on blanks and pressing OK, equal to up and directly control enter and I'm done. Now this is your actual data, the way it should have been stored ideally. Now, right now this data has formulas, right? So to remove these formulas because we don't need them anymore, I'm going to press control A, control C to copy, right click and directly click on paste as values. And now there are no more formulas and that's your actual data set. Let's take one more example. You have category and subcategory. Same problem. You want these categories to be going down. So this is what you ideally do. You drag, you drag, you drag. This is what you ideally do. You don't need to do this. If you have a hundred categories or thousand categories, how many times will you keep dragging down? So simply select the data, press control G, go to special, click on blanks. When we do this, it will automatically select the blanks only. You press OK, equal to up key and directly control enter and you're done. 
again same thing you press control a control c right click and paste it as values so your formulas are gone let's take one more example so that your understanding is absolutely perfect now again this data has tld domain time zone and ip address you want to fill all these blank cells with the value from just above so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select everything pressing control a and then going to special or control g clicking on blanks and doing a directly equal to up and control enter all is done so the reason of showing you this is you don't really have to go column by column you can directly select the entire data and do it in one shot also so if you have 20 columns you don't have to go column by column do it in one shot across it's equal to up control enter then to paste as values you press control a control c right click and paste as values and you're done this way you can make sure that your data is made in a perfect manner so that sorting filtering formulas conditional formatting pivot tables everything becomes usable if this video has helped you please like and share and also comment below do subscribe to the channel there is a subscribe button below please click on that so that you can get a lot of such tips also to share with you that we have online training programs the one that is mentioned below is master business reporting using pivot tables and charts so this particular course will teach you how to use pivot tables to its full potential to create business reports in a flash of a second go ahead check out the link below and there is a special coupon code i have mentioned with the link so you click on the link and the coupon code gets applied automatically for all my youtube video viewers thank you so much